Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Drawing Time with Story. If you are new in my channel, I will introduce myself and my channel with you. I am Swaya Parvin and in my channel, I select an object or simply a theme to draw and while drawing, I will gossip with you, I will narrate my story or simply just deliver some information about the topic I select to draw. As you saw, uh, my today's theme is uh, just like imagine um, you were in an island, an isolated island, you were all alone, you have a home of your own and just enjoy the simply the calm and peaceful environment and I tried my best to implement this imagination and while drawing you will not get bored because i will tell you a beautiful story um and my today's story's name is deserted island so let's get started jump to the story so the deserted island was written by cindy nahem the story started like this i woke up in the middle of nowhere looking for my parents. They were nowhere to be found. All I remember was a crochet boat and a thunderstorm. I looked into the crystal clear ocean around me. Colorful fish were swimming around gracefully between harmless coral. The scorching hot sun had made me as dry as bones. I splashed water on my face, feeling refreshment. Suddenly, I saw, I saw a gray shark-like thing. I started to panic. My breathing rapid, desperate to get off the survival boat I was on. Then, a dolphin sprang up and pointed to an island. I reached for the oars next to me and rowed my way slowly to the island. When I reached island, my face was dry yet again, so I splashed water on my face and then got off the boat. The sand on the island was burning my feet, so I ran as fast as I could to the nearest shady thing I could find. As I ran, I found a palm tree so big that it could probably fit 10 people under it. I sat down under the tree for a rest, thinking about my parents and where they could be now. I looked up and found coconuts and bananas on top of me. I tried to climb the palm tree but I was not successful. I looked around for a new few rocks and threw them one by one at the top of the palm tree. Slowly, coconuts and bananas came dropping down like rain. When there was enough for me to eat, I dug into the food like a pig. I had managed to eat enough for a satisfied stomach. I decided to explore the island for I was curious. As I walked, I heard a river nearby leading to a long waterfall. I stepped onto some rocks nearby and crossed the river unharmed. As I was walking, I found a rusty old paper pinned to a dead tree. I ripped it off the tree and looked at it closely. It was a treasure map. I followed the lines closely and stopped at a magnificent frozen waterfall. I didn't understand. Why would someone make a treasure map if it leads to a frozen waterfall? I looked around, looking for a switch or something. Then I saw a rock next to the frozen waterfall. I walked to it and pushed it in like ringing a doorbell. The waterfall began to rise 
and I ran into it. I saw in front of me a chest hoping there would be riches, valuables and a mobile phone. I opened it and saw all you need to survive in the wilderness including blankets, a year's supply of food and drinks and matches. For quite some time, I have lived in harmony with the animals. They made me feel like I blend with them. I hope to repay them for that one day. When I was reading the story, I became interested in what is actually island meaning. So I searched Wikipedia and found some information. And now I am going to um, share that pieces of information with you. And if you are interested me, like um, you can just search island in the uh, Google and read the full version. So an island or isle is any piece of subcontinental land that is surrounded by water. Very small islands such as emergent land features on atolls can be called islets, scurries, keys or keys. And island in a river or a lake island may be called an yacht or eight. And a small island of the coast may be called a home. It is not home, it is home. Sedimentary islands in the Gongas Delta are called chars. A grouping of geographically or geologically related islands such as the Philippines is referred to as archipelago. An island may be described as such despite the presence of an artificial land bridge. Examples are Singapore and its causeway. And the various Dutch Delta Islands such as Jesselmondi. Some places may even retain island in their names for historical reasons after being connected to a larger landmass by a land bridge or landfill. You can um, tell that such as Coney Island or Coronado Island though these are strictly speaking tide islands. Conversely, when a piece of land is separated from the mainland by a man-made canal, for example, the Pilonopis by the Corinth Canal, more or less, the entirety of Phenacadia by the White Sea Canal or Marble Hill in northern Manhattan during the time between the building of the United States Ship Canal and the filling in of the Harlem River which surround the area. It is generally not considered as island. There are two main types of islands in the sea, continental and oceanic. There are also some artificial islands which are called man-made. Do you know that Greenland is the world's largest island? with an area of over 2.1 million kilometers square while australia the world's smallest continent has an area of 7.6 million kilometers square but there is no standard of size that distinguishes islands from continents or from islets there is a difference between islands and continents in terms of geology Continents are the largest landmass of a particular continental plate. This holds true for Australia, which sits on its own continental lithosphere and tectonic plate. By contrast, islands are either extensions of the oceanic crust, such as volcanic islands, or belong to a continental plate containing a larger landmass that is continental islands. The latter is the case of Greenland, which sits on the North America plate. Now come to the point of continental islands. What are these? Continental islands are bodies of land that lie on the continental shelf of a continent. 
Examples are Borneo, Java, Sumatra, Sakline, Taiwan, and Hainan of Asia, New Guinea, Tasmania, and Kangaroo Island of Australia, Great Britain, Ireland, and Silesia of Europe, Greenland, and many, many others. Now come to the point of microcontinent islands. A special type of continental island is the microcontinent island, which is created when a continent is rifted. Examples are Madagascar and Socotra of Africa, New Caledonia, New Zealand, and some of these Sicilies. Birds. Another subtype is an island or bird formed by deposition of tiny rocks where water current loses some of its carrying capacity. This includes barrier islands, which are accumulations of sand deposited by sea currents on the continental shelves. Fluvial or alluvial islands form in river deltas or midstream within large rivers. While some are transitory and may disappear if the volume or speed of the current changes. Others are stable and long lived. Now we will know about oceanic islands tectonic versus volcanic. Oceanic islands are islands that do not sit on continental shelves. The vast majority are volcanic in origin such as St. Helena in the South Atlantic Ocean. The few oceanic islands that are not volcanic are tectonic. <coughs> so the few oceanic islands that are not volcanic are tectonic in origin and arise when plate movements have lifted up the ocean floor above the surface. Examples are St. Peter and Paul Rocks in the Atlantic Ocean and Mercury Island in the Pacific. Volcanic Islands, what are these? Arcs, one of volcanic oceanic islands, is found in a volcanic island arc. These islands arise from volcanoes where the subduction of one plate under another is occurring. Examples are the Eleutinian islands, the Mariana Islands, and most of Tonga in the Pacific Ocean. The only examples in the Atlantic Ocean are some of the Lesser Antilles and the South Sandwich Islands. If you want more information, then please search on Google Writing Islands and you will know many, many, many more information. So how was the drawing and the story and the information today? Let me know in my comment section. Stay safe, stay healthy 